What's up guys, this is Jake from your gaming HUD, your heads up display in anything and everything gaming. We got a new Friday the 13th game, a new Fallout trailer, and details of the new Nintendo NX, and much more. You know what time it is. It's your gaming news of the week, for the week of October 12th. Let's get this party started, right? Back to you, Chip. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Do you like killing camp counselors as a psychopath in the lake? Well, I got the perfect game for you. It's called Friday the 13th, the video game. It's a classic horror fan's dream. No shaky cam, no found footage, the developer said. We want you to know we're revitalizing the golden era of slashers and putting you at the controls of each horrific blood splatter moment. Gun Media is looking to fund Friday the 13th, the game, on Kickstarter and is asking for $700,000. The reason they wanted to do something like Kickstarter over more conventional ways like a publisher, they said partnering with a publisher meant that they might have to tone down the violence, gore, and nudity. We don't want that. You don't want that. We are not interested in composing what made the film franchise so popular. We're interested in building precisely what we, as fans, want. The ultimate Friday the 13th experience. Blood, guts, gore, brutal kills, and more. You want to experience true to the films, and so do we. It's about a creative control and delivering the best games we can. We want to share that control with you, not a publisher. Uh, the game was conceived as a multiplayer only game. Gun Media said it will consider a single player game if it hits its Kickstarter goal. Friday the 13th of the game is scheduled to come out October 2016. You can guarantee yourself a copy for $25 on their Kickstarter website. Link down below. Some details for Nintendo's NX have been revealed. According to Wall Street Journal, Nintendo's mysterious NX system is a console slash mobile hybrid that sports industry leading tech. In addition, software development kits for it are reportedly being sent to developers right now, signaling a possible 2016 release. We will definitely find out more sooner as 2016 comes around. In other Nintendo news, News, the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD might be in the works for the Wii U. Nothing officially has been announced from Nintendo, but Wii Hacker Group Wii U Brew has discovered a listing for the game hidden in the latest update to the Japanese Wii U eShop, simply titled The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. There's no way to be sure whether it's simply a placeholder, a sign for something to come. In any case, it's not listed for anything outside of Japan though. So take that with a grain of salt. There's possibility in the air. Anything I talked about here today is in the links down below, so make sure to check that out. Fallout 4 gets a new live action trailer. With Fallout 4 on the horizon, it's no surprise that with every trailer they put out, it gets me more and more excited to play this game. November 10th, can't come any faster. Fallout 4, going to be beautiful. In other Fallout news, Fallout Shelter gets a 1.2 update, which includes survival mode. Also a nice addition, raiders who break into your vault can now be scavenged upon defeat. In an act of cross promotion, Fallout 4 Piper makes an appearance as one of its legendary dwellers. She's exclusive to the iOS version and comes with 5 free lunchboxes. Alright guys, that's it for me this week. I'm gonna leave you with a question though. With Friday the 13th, the game, will it make you wanna promote this Kickstarter? I trust these guys, and also with Adam Sessler backing them up, I trust him most of all. But uh, I like this concept. I will probably pick this up. Friday the 13th, cool idea, 1v7, technically, or as they said, you can go 1v1v1v1v1. You can do all that and like either help each other or just say, you know what, thanks for all the work, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm doing all this by myself and I don't need anybody. So it, it, it has that kind of cat and mouse kind of feel to it with mouses being able to turn on themselves. All right guys, I'm gone. Enjoy your week. I'll see you back here next Sunday. So best believe it. New Retro Friday up on the page. Check it out. I'll see you guys later. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs> It's, I'm your host Jake, you know where it's at. It's your gaming HUD. I'm way out here trying to play some video games. Games work. Work.